meant to sound upbeat in these videos. So, how you going? Great to see you again. Thanks for joining me. Let's jump straight into the video. So the channel we're looking at is Victoria Outside. All right, so this is the video we're looking at here. Moss roof cabin under snowstorm woods. And you got a name, a word I, I don't recognize, Samova. I, I could Google it, I guess, but winter bushcraft camp. All right, let's just jump straight into this video and um, see what we're dealing with. All right, little highlight reel of what's to come. Great looking spot. I imagine taking photos through that. That'd look cool, looking through that forest. Just all those trees lined up with the frosting all over them. Man, I, I love this moss. <laughs> wish I had moss like that. I wish I had trees like that. That I'm always so envious of these these people with <laughs> access to this environment. Now, I don't know where she is. I think maybe Germany. I'm not I'm not sure. If you know, drop it in the comment. Tell me where she uh, where she's based. I thought this video was going to be the whole construction. Um, yeah. Kind of disappointed now. <laughs> I thought we, I thought we were going to see the whole whole structure built, and it looks like we're just getting it finished off, just doing the roof, and then spending a night in it in a snowstorm in the forest. All right, I had a look through her channel, and I found that video of her making this shelter, and I was just going to throw up some clips of it in this video. However, uh, I want to comment on a few things she's she's done in the um the construction of this shelter so i'll do another video and i'll comment and react to the build of this shelter that i've just shown you and um yeah i'll do that in a different video but um yeah <laughs> let's get back to it i don't know why she's got such a big opening at the front there why well, you wouldn't have a door so you can seal it up easier and make it more insulated um i'm assuming it's just so that she can have it multi-use, sit underneath it when it's um, good condition, plus it's easier for filming. Um, you don't have to have a chimney if you've got it all open like that as well with your fireplace inside. Maybe she's going to have a, a sleep area enclosed to keep the warmth in there. I don't know why you need that window. It's just more heat getting out and it's more work to build it. So the moss is going to act as insulation, keep the warmth in. It's also going to protect your tarp from getting sticks and things hitting it and punching holes in it. But as far as insulation goes, she's got a window and this massive big hole in her wall um, unless she builds all that in at some later stage then no, she's got two windows so there's a window in the end and then there's that window in the back so she's going all this effort to try to tuck the moss in to insulate it presumably you got huge gaps, like you got windows, you got this massive hole in the front of it. I'd just, yeah, if I was going to do that, I'd just throw it up there, I wouldn't bother. I know it's, she's doing it for the video, but everything should serve a purpose other than just aesthetics. And that's, at least that's what I think. And the purpose of this that I see is, one, to blend in with nature, to blend it all back in. So you're not seeing this big tarp sitting there. But to... Oh, I she had a bag of snow then. This is going to cover the thing with snow. Um, but yeah, too, the other thing would be insulation. But why would you bother? Why would you bother to do all that effort when you've got a window and this massive big hole where you're in the front of your shelter? It's going to do nothing. It's not going to do a single thing in, in regards to keeping the warmth in. It's going to be a cold shelter. Does look cool though, that forest with all that snow on it. I mean, imagine a photo looking down through all that. See, stuff like that I, I don't get tired of looking at. Yeah, it sucks when you're trying to get trees down and they get hung up. You Worse still when you cut a tree down, then it gets hung up, and then you've got to cut another tree down to try to get it down. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about walking along with the, the hatchet with the, no guard on it. Especially with all that snow, everything's going to be slippery under feet. 
There'll be so many bits of wood and stuff that you can't see that you can step on and slip and you've got this blade in your hand with no guard on it. Um, yeah, I don't I don't like that, even though she's holding it out to the side. I mean, if you step over that and you step on another log and it's slippery and you slip and you you land on that on that blade. Yeah, if it's sharp, like it should be, then you could really do yourself a, an injury. Yeah, if you've got a guard for you, your axe, or your hatchet, or your knife, or anything, then use it <laughs> when you're walking, especially if it's really potentially um, slippery and a lot of trip hazards, like when it's covered with snow. thought she was going to have a little still then. I thought it was going to be a little bootlegging camp where she's going to have a still running and they yeah, just don't drink the yellow snow. Man, it'd be cold in there. Well, it'd be the same temperature as the outside, even with a fire going in there. You're not, unless you're sitting up close to that fire, you're not going to be getting any real benefit. I mean, I'm, she's not going to get any heat from this thing. It's a cool little burner though. I like that. That looks cool though. She looks a bit like um, Kate, Princess Kate or whatever her name is, Kate Middleton. <laughs> it looks a little bit like Kate Middleton. She could be a double for her. Doppelganger. I wonder if she talks in any of her videos at all. I wonder a lot of things. She's got that little biscuit all laid out nicely there. And she's going to use that thin little bit of cord to tie up a tarp. Yeah, save your fingers doing that. You could just, yeah, like, <laughs> no, I'd, I'd just get a bit of wood and just use your saw to cut a slot and a bit of wood and just stick a bit of wood on it and just turn it. Simple. Yeah, work smarter, not not harder. That looked like a lot of, lot of work, and you're using the cloth and everything. All she had to do is just pick up a bit of wood, cut a slot in it, and stick it over it, and turn it. Okay. <laughs> She's having fun at least. <laughs> Small things. Um, I'm waiting for it to snap. Doesn't like to put a guard on that <laughs> on that blade, does she? Oh, so she is she going to trip over that cord in the middle of the night? She has to go outside in the middle of the night or something. <sighs> I mean, it's a cool idea, I guess, that you can open it right up. In like summertime, you can have it opened up, and or if you're filming in there, you can get your camera back further. Um, but as far as bringing the heat into it, she looks like she's having fun anyway. All right, well, that's gonna stop you from tripping over the cord. Just <laughs> trip over the log instead. More moss. Man, I gotta, I gotta get myself somewhere where there's moss. Insane. Like, look at it. Imagine the bedding you'd have. Like, just, oh, some people just got it so lucky. <laughs> they, I don't know if they realize how lucky they've got it. They should come to Australia and try to build a shelter and see what we're dealing with over here. Mm. That's cool. I like that. Oh, drone shot. Okay. This should look good. Seeing this forest from above. Oh, got a bit wobbly there. Yeah, man, look at that. You get the low clouds in there as well. That's awesome. You like to go there for like a week, a month. All that's missing is 
a lake, and then it'd be like heaven. That's cool. Yeah, they're a bit, a bit jerky, some of the, the drone shots. So like she's used every bit of footage she got with the drone. been good if she had to come back down and then had a, like a wide shot of the cabin like from way back so you can see it in the distance and then come in closer to it like a big establishing shot you've seen it, the area from above and then you come down through the trees and you see it from a distance to establish where it is in the trees and then they're close up close up of it all right dinner time what's on the menu I don't, I just all right, well, the pine cones on the on there, just like it's just for aesthetics, but why? No, no, looks like chicken, potatoes and chicken skewers. She does look a bit cool, as in cold. I imagine their food would cool down pretty quick. It might be just warm by the time she's moved the cameras around and set up and everything. Cool, that's the worst thing when you're, you're really hungry and you're cooking something, you're filming it, and then yeah, you get it done, and then you got to take thumbnail photos and move cameras around, and it's, by the time you get to eat it, it's cold. And she had all that moss. Why didn't she? Okay, why? Um, why would you do that? I'd put my shoes to the side and I'd keep those stones clean so I can put my feet on them when I've got my socks on. And then you, because what's the point? The floor's muddy, your boots are muddy, and you just put clean rocks to, there and you put your muddy boots on those clean rocks. What's the purpose of the clean rocks? To keep them up out of the mud. You could just have them off to the side and keep that for you to put your feet onto when you've got socks on. That's my thought. That's it. All right. We're done. All right, so what did we think about that? Uh, amazing forestry's in there. Uh, first of all, that'd be awesome to spend some time in that. The shelter, yeah, like for a cold climate, I th yeah, I think it's it could be a lot warmer. <laughs> I mean, you go to the effort of putting the moss all over it, but then you got all these massive holes and places where heat can get out of your shelter. I think she's got some, some skills, and it's always refreshing to see a woman out there doing bushcraft videos and, and doing builds and things like this without the need to get their gear off to get the views. I'm envious of all the moss she's got. I wish I had that, but I don't know why she didn't use some of that moss on the bed. Uh, you had all that timber on there, she could have put a layer of moss on there and then put the, the tarp that she had, put that on top of that and sleep on that. It would have been a lot more comfortable. Um, but yeah, no, um, I'll, yeah, possibly uh, look at some more of her videos and see what else she's done. But this was her most viewed video, so I thought we'd, we'd start with that. Uh, there's lots of other channels I want to look at um, as well. So, all right, well, if you like the, the video and you like the channel or you've got any suggestions, uh, other than uh, finding something else to do in my life. Uh, yeah, please leave a comment. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch yous.